Coral Reefs, a National Geographic Kids Book by Kristen Baird Rattini. City Under the Sea. The shallow ocean waters look calm, but under the surface, a coral reef is a busy place. Hundreds, even thousands of different creatures swim and hide along the reef. There they find food and shelter. They make their home in the city under the sea. A coral reef is a very important ecosystem. More sea creatures live along coral reefs than in any other part of the ocean. Reefs are found in many spots around the world. Most reefs grow in shallow, clear ocean waters on either side of the equator. They need sunlight and warm temperatures year-round to survive. Reef talk. Ecosystem. All living and non-living things in an area. Equator. The imaginary line around the Earth halfway between the North and South Poles. Reef builders. Coral reefs look like they are made of rocks, but in fact, they are groups of animals called corals. Each coral group is made up of many separate coral polyps. In reef ecosystems, there are two kinds of coral, hard and soft. Only hard coral polyps form reefs. They're named for the hard skeletons they build at the base of their soft bodies. Reef talk. Coral polyp. A small, simple sea animal with a tube-shaped body and a mouth ringed with tentacles at the top. One coral polyp can be as small as the head of a pin, but when many polyps join together, they make reefs that can stretch for miles. New polyps build their hard skeletons on top of old ones. Over many years, these layers of skeletons slowly grow into a coral reef. In the zone. All coral reefs have three zones. The reef flat zone often stretches towards land. The crest zone is the highest part of the reef. The reef slope zone faces the open ocean. It's the deepest part of the reef. The animals and corals that live on a reef are different in each zone. Neighbors on the reef. Creatures big and small can be found on reefs around the world. Sea stars travel slowly along a reef's surface. Giant clams rest there too. Tube sponges stretch up from a reef like small chimneys. Seahorses wrap their tails around pieces of coral. Sea turtles swim around reefs. Eels hide in a reef's cracks. Many animals use camouflage to hide along the reef. Some use it to stay safe from other animals that could eat them. Others use it to hide while they hunt. Reef talk. Camouflage. An animal's natural color or shape that helps it hide from other animals. A stonefish's bumpy body blends in with the coral. A trumpet fish dives down and holds still. Its long, thin body stretches up like a tall sponge. A cuttlefish can change its shape and skin color to match a coral reef. Reef plants. Plants play an important role in a coral reef ecosystems. Tiny algae live inside the coral polyp's soft bodies. The algae use sunlight to make food for the coral. This helps the coral grow. Seagrass can grow in the reef flat zone. It helps trap mud from rivers that flow into the ocean. Seagrass also provides food for the dungongs and sea turtles. The Reef in Darkness As night falls, life along the reef changes. Different animals come out to find food. Squirrelfish use their large eyes to search for shrimp in the darkness. Octopuses stretch their arms over the reef to feel for food. Sharks hunt for fish. Cone snails catch fish and worms. People and Reefs Coral reefs are important to more than just animals and plants. They are important to people, too. Millions of people eat the fish that live along reefs. Many people earn money from fishing or taking tourists to visit reefs. Reefs also help protect people and houses on land. They block big waves from crashing on the shore.
Rescuing reefs. Many reefs are in danger. Scientists are worried about the threats to coral reefs. Ocean waters around the world are getting warmer. Coral polyps die when the water is too warm. Pollution sometimes spills into the ocean. It can harm reefs. Fishing and boating can also damage fragile reefs. Reef talk. Pollution. Harmful matter that makes water, soil, or air dirty. The Shenyan One struck the Great Barrier Reef in 2010. The ship scraped along the reef for almost two miles, damaging the coral and spilling oil into the water. But there is good news. Many people are working to save reefs. Volunteers help clean up pollution on land and at sea. Some countries have special areas called preserves, where coral reefs are being protected. Divers and swimmers like you can help too. The next time you see a beautiful coral reef, look but don't touch.